So a lot of what goes into this question to me is based on what your own definition of success is. To some people, success is just having chart topping hits, while to others, they look at success in other ways like impact, cultural influence, importance, amongst many other things. But I tend to side more with the latter since a lot of hip hop legends who have been very successful across many years never had a top 40 hit but still hold way more importance than artists like Vanilla Ice. But before I get into it, I personally think that people put way too much emphasis on sexualizing yourself in music in general. If you want to sexualize yourself, go ahead. And if you don't, that's perfectly fine. And if you truly care whether someone sexualizes themselves or not, trust me, there is something wrong with you. But I wanted to tackle this false belief that people think that sexualizing yourself is something that women must do because that's the only way they can sell records or be successful, which truly is the farthest thing from the truth. And that's because sexualizing yourself is a double-edged sword. It can definitely propel your career in the case of Cardi B, who's created a brand based on how she wants to present herself, capitalizing on the popularity of her music and attaching this preferred appearance to herself. But in the case of Iggy Azalea, who was huge with her first single, now constantly gets harassed when promoting a song or video or anything that she's trying to promote because it seems like people are only interested in her body. And this isn't something that anybody should have to deal with, but we don't live in a perfect world and unfortunately there are a shit ton of assholes out there. And her as an example truly shows that sexualizing yourself alone isn't going to give you all of the success that you want. This is also real for males in the case of D'Angelo, who decided to go completely naked in the title video which led to some of his fans only wanting to see his body when he went on tour and this is something that he personally said so his fans were gravitating away from the music and only focusing on his body and this is one of the factors that led to him going on a 14 year hiatus before he came back with black messiah which if you haven't heard you really must because it's one of the best albums this decade so sexualizing yourself alone isn't going to make your career if anything it could destroy it but today in hip-hop in the mainstream especially we see a lot of successful female rappers rise to fame who choose to sexualize themselves as they rightfully should but it has created this facade that the only way a female rapper can achieve the success is if they decide to sexualize themselves. Believing in this only shows that you haven't really dived deep into female rap. And it's not like you have to go deep into the underground to see the falseness in this belief, because you don't have to do much digging to find these female MCs, who have in their own way found success. Rhapsody is a perfect example. She really phones in on just her skills and dropped one of the best rap albums of 2017, which led to her getting two Grammy nominations, one for best rap album and another for best rap song for Sassy. On top of all that, she receives co stuff from Kendrick Lamar and TDE, pretty much the biggest rapper in the game and the most important label in my opinion this decade so not only does she have the commercial success she also has the respect of contemporaries and that is something that is permanent and i really feel like people underrate how important it is for other mcs and other people that are eventually going to become legends they underrate how important it is to have their respect and have their cosign because it really is something that is truly important and goes way farther than just a top 40 hit no name is another perfect mc who defeats this facade and while she doesn't have the same commercial success she has one of the most critically acclaimed rap albums in history yeah rap history with room 25 and looking at the fan bases i don't see many fan bases that depend on music from their favorite artists as much as no names to me she is the female equivalent of Pac because every single word hits you she brings in a new topic with every song that we can relate to in our own lives there is so much subject matter infused into her music that she's been able to fill the fan base that depends on her music as a sort of news the same way Pac's fan base did back in the 90s her fan base doesn't take her music as something of leisure but as something that can change their lives based on the different perspectives that the regular citizen may not understand and if that isn't success i don't really know what is and having that same cultural impact that i think correlates a lot to Pac, again is something that is going to keep you relevant forever a top 40 hit is only going to keep you relevant for like 15 20 minutes unless it has some type of cultural impact which not a lot of top 40 hit hits do but it's that importance the high demand for your music that is going to keep it alive well after you retired the same way pox music has but this isn't something that is relatively new with this new wave of female mcs that we see reaching success. Even back in the 90s, where it was even harder for female artists to be taken seriously, we can take a look at one of the greatest hip hop artists ever in Lauren Hill, who didn't really image herself the same way a Cardi B or a Megan Thee Stallion did, but still has way more success than they will ever have with only one album. Her album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, got her five Grammys. It was eventually included in the Library of Congress in the National Recording Registry for importance. And it ended up going eight times platinum. And she hasn't dropped an album since. And this came out in 1998. She hasn't dropped an album since. And she's still going on tour because people demand her music so much. She doesn't even show up to her shows half the time. And people are still dying to see her life because that's how important the music alone was. On top of that, her biggest song went number one. And it's literally about not giving up the pussy. So I still don't get why people repeat this false belief. And I also don't get why people think that women sexualizing themselves is such a problem when your favorite rapper at some point 
woman has probably bragged about utilizing another woman's body to make themselves feel better. But somehow when a woman wants to utilize her own body to make herself feel better, it turns into a problem. The logic here is just at an all time low. So let's keep supporting the new women in rap like Rico Nasty, Tierra Wack, Jean Grey, and many others because they can bring a whole new element to hip hop that men can't do simply because they aren't a woman. I made this video not to shit on women who feel liberated with their bodies. I made it for those up and coming MCs who may not feel as comfortable with their bodies, but still want to take part in this great culture, but feel like they can't just because they feel like sexualizing yourself is the only way to succeed. This is all a lie made to control those who don't want to take part in this way of presenting yourself throughout hip hop and you can't buy into it. Be yourself because there will always be people out there just like you who will support your music no matter what the fuck you do with your body. And if you really care about what a woman does with her body and music then there really is something wrong with you and that's just not up for debate that's all i gotta say i hope you enjoy please like please subscribe and i'll be with y'all very soon peace